there, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk about a topic that can be a challenge for many of us, saving. Would you like to save $10,000? That's a significant amount of money and it's definitely achievable with the right strategies. Today, I'm excited to share with you 10 practical and effective money-saving tips that can help you get started toward your savings goal. Whether you're saving for a specific purpose or just want to build up your emergency fund, these simple and easy tips will provide you with a solid foundation to get started. We've all been there. We set a savings goal, but somehow it seems impossible to achieve, so we don't even start. You may think, how can I possibly save that much money? Or I don't make enough to save that much. But the truth is, saving $10,000 is not just about how much you make. It's about how you manage your finances and make small changes to your daily habits. You might feel overwhelmed by the thought of cutting back on expenses or finding ways to increase your income. But here's the thing, every small step counts and those small changes can add up to make a big difference in the long run. Many of us struggle with saving because we don't have a clear plan or a strategy in place. We might try to save a little here and there, but without a focused approach, it's easy to get distracted and lose momentum. That's why it's essential to have a solid understanding of what works and what doesn't when it comes to saving money. So let's get started. Tip number one, automate your savings. This is one of the simplest and most effective ways to save money. By setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account, you'll ensure that you're saving a fixed amount regularly without having to think about it. Tip number two, cut back on subscription services. Take a closer look at your monthly subscriptions. Are there any that you can live without? Do you really need to keep all your streaming services? Canceling unwanted subscriptions can save you hundreds of dollars per year. Tip number three, cook at home instead of eating out. This is a simple yet effective way to cut back on expenses. By cooking at home, you can save around $500 to $700 per month, depending on how often you eat out. It will probably be a lot healthier for you too, so double bonus. Tip number four, sell unwanted items. Declutter your home and sell items you no longer need or use. This can be a quick way to generate some extra cash, which you can then put towards your savings goal. Be careful. Make sure you don't turn around and buy more stuff once you sell your current items. Tip number five, use public transportation. If public transportation is available in your city, use it. Using public transportation can save you a significant amount of money by reducing expenses associated with owning and maintaining a car. You'll save on gas, parking fees, insurance, and maintenance costs. This alone can save you over $2,000 to $3,000 per year or more. Additionally, many cities offer discounted monthly or yearly passes for public transit, making it an even more economical option compared to daily driving expenses. By opting for buses, trains, or subways, you can cut down on your transportation costs and allocate those savings toward other financial goals. Tip number six, reduce your grocery bill. Plan your meals, shop sales, and use coupons to reduce your grocery bill. This can save you around $100 to $200 per month. If you really want to save money on groceries, check out some of the extreme budget-friendly meal planning channels on YouTube, such as Julia Pacheco or others. Links in the description. No affiliation, they just have very good information. Tip number seven, increase your income. This might seem obvious, but increasing your income can have a huge impact on your savings goal. Look for ways to monetize your skills, take on a side hustle, or ask for a raise at work. Check out freelancing websites such as Upwork, Fiverr, etc. You can pick out individual jobs around your free time, which suit your talents and skills. Tip number eight, use the 50, 30, 20 rule. Allocate 50% of your income towards necessary expenses, 30% towards discretionary spending, and 20% towards saving and debt repayment. Tip number nine, 
Avoid impulse purchases. Create a 30-day waiting period for non-essential purchases to avoid making impulse buys. Tip number 10, use a savings challenge. Try a savings challenge like the 52-week savings challenge, where you save an amount equal to the number of the week. There are many different savings challenges out there. To get a first emergency fund to saving $10,000, there are a lot to choose from, so pick the one that works for you and see it through to the end. By implementing these 10 money-saving tips, you'll be well on your way to reaching your $10,000 savings goal. Remember, it's all about making small changes to your daily habits and staying committed to your goal. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more money-saving tips and advice. Share your own tips or experiences in the comments section below, and keep thriving!